Hi, welcome to Elements in Focus. My name is Grant Sullivan. And I'm Aaron Rayum. Welcome and thank you for being with us today. Elements in Focus is something new and you may have seen the recording from our managing partner Joe on what this program actually entails. And today we're going to enter in a discussion and walk through the phases of finance, one of the most important elements and topics when discussing your financial future. So Aaron, what are the phases of finance for everyone watching? Yeah, uh, Grant, there's three of them. Um, and we like to illustrate this as you're drawing it out is think of a plane ride. Um, so you've got the takeoff, your 30,000 foot uh, in flight, whether you're traveling from Indy to California or somewhere overseas, you got that flight. And then landing the plane in sunny San Diego would be the ending part. So tying all that in, you have the accumulation phase, you have preservation, so that is the 30,000 foot, and then landing the plane would be distribution, Grant. Excellent. And as Aaron talked about that, it's actually a wonderful illustration looking at a plane ride. Um, you do different things in these different phases, just like a pilot will do different things while in the air. Sure. They're going to you know, navigate the controls and control the plane differently in all these three phases. So in that first phase, Aaron, you said accumulation. What are the most important keys or elements that our families and listeners need to know about accumulation? Yeah, so in accumulation, first kind of thing I want to throw out is it's not age-based, right? People can be in accumulation phase at... 20 years old, they can be in accumulation phase at 40. It's just that is your unique situation. But the question that you asked, Grant, was what are you supposed to be doing inside of accumulation? One is making sure you're saving the right percentage of money, and that is different for everybody. So saving the right percent and then building tax diversification. That, those are the two most important things in building the tax diversification really matters when we talk about distribution. And that is so big. Um, one thing we constantly harp on as, a, as an organization is taxes, taxes, taxes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't get caught in this web um, will tell you, especially some of the bright tax preparers that are out there, do deferred because you're going to pay less in taxes when you retire. <laughs> And it, it is far more complicated than that. So when you're in this accumulation stage, put the right percentage away and make sure you understand your tax situation. Talk with a professional like Aaron and myself or anyone from our team or ask your advisor or tax professional what that should look like. The second phase, Aaron, is a big one. We see a lot of families in this. It's preservation. Sure. What, what are the big keys there? Preservation uh, is really the only time an average return matters because you've got to be somewhere beginning, middle, and end. But at that point in time, Grant, um, that is where what you have uh, started to accumulate matters more. Sorry, what you have accumulated matters more than what you're putting into the account. So, you know, you've built up some assets and the saving percentage that you've been doing over years has allowed you to do that. Now it's time to preserve what is being uh, saved in those types of accounts. Absolutely. And I want to reiterate something Aaron beautifully stated. This is the only time average rate of return matters. Um, and getting into kind of that, um, that downward momentum, that flight back to ground, if you would, mm -hmm. um, when we get to distribution, looking at this, this is where we spend a lot of our time with our families. Yes. Why is that? Uh, because for one, it's important. I mean, distribution for most people is hard. Uh, they've spent 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years accumulating do dollars, and now we're telling folks, hey, you have to start taking some of this out. And that's just not a natural thing, right? No, it's and not. And so, you know, you have to do that in a coordinated, calculated way. And so in distribution grant, the two things that matter there is making sure that you're managing volatility mm -hmm. between your distribution points. So the markets go up and down. You want to make sure you're managing that volatility between those distribution points and then making sure you're using or making sure the tax dollars that you're paying on those distributions is in, in line with where you need to be. So you want to make sure the tax dollars that you're paying at that point in time is effective to what you're trying to accomplish. And that's so important. Please hear that. We see so many families that come in and they're so hesitant to release tax information, but all they want to do is talk about is returns. Or how are you going to guarantee we get this amount of percentage of return? How are you going to guarantee my income is there? 
without understanding the tax side of the coin, you're setting yourself up for a disaster. Yeah. Um, and especially another thing too, our industry, I hate to say it, has lied to so many of us about distribution. Um, when you think about it, we have families that want to hoard money. And it's easy to sell that, but you need a calculated plan to know how to do it tax efficiently. Um, so Aaron, great topics. Love this. This is the base of everything we, we got our families off of. Yeah. So if someone wants to come and find us or talk to us, how do they get to us? A uh, number of ways. You can reach out to us uh, on the phone if you have a question. Our number is 1-800-928-4001. You can find us at yourlifeafterwork.com. Again, that's www.yourlifeafterwork.com, or give us a call. Grant, myself, or any of the advisor team would be happy to assist with the questions that you have. Excellent. Thank you, Aaron. Well, thanks for hanging out with us here on Elements in Focus. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd be happy to speak. Look forward to talking to you soon.